What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we're gonna do the Mystery Tackle Box Pro unboxing for the month of April. I promised you guys that I was gonna try to start getting them out a little bit earlier. So that doesn't mean that we kind of have to schedule a little bit differently and Bentley's not gonna be able to be with us unfortunately because it is uh, Easter weekend while I'm filming this and he's with his mom right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do it on our own. He'll be back with us next month, but we're gonna roll that intro and then we'll check this thing out. All right, guys, here it is, April's Mystery Tackle Box. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I think there's gonna be probably a lot of focus on bed fishing, stuff like that in there. So let's crack it open and check it out. All right, so right on the top for Bentley is his Catch Co sticker. Pretty cool little sticker, a jig fighting a bass. I like that, that's really cool. All right, so first up, we've got an Ima vibrating uh, or a lipless bait, uh, lipless crankbait. Uh, this, I've actually used one of these before, usually in red. This is a shad color. Uh, this thing suspends. Really not sure how it suspends, but I know that it does suspend. Uh, part lipless crankbait, part jerkbait. Uh, it's a 70 millimeter, uh, 10 gram, 3 8 ounce. Suspends three to four, three to four feet. Uh, really, really good looking bait. Like that one a lot. That'll come in handy here soon. Next up, we have got the uh, 10,000 Fish Colorado Psycho, uh, Cycle Blade. I have used this a few times as well. Being sponsored by Catch Co, I get to use a lot of their stuff uh, before it comes out. Really do like that bait also. It's a fun little bait to get to throw. And we'll pair that up with some swim baits or something along those lines. Second up, we have got a Lunker Hunt Easy Prey. Is that the name of it? Easy Prey? I guess so. Uh, it's a jointed, I don't know if this is a glide bait. Let's see here. Uh, one easy meal. Predators on the prowl for their next meal usually pick off the weak, slower, injured ones of a pack. Why not offer them their next meal on a silver platter? The easy prey will mimic a wounded, kicking bait fish, making it an easy target for your next catch. Yes, so it is, uh, I guess it's some kind of a wake, or I'm sorry, some kind of a glide bait style. Uh, it is jointed right up near the head. We're going to crack it open just real quick. I'm, just, I'm very curious about it. I want to see it. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's actually got uh, three treble hooks in it. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so this is how it floats. It actually swims on its side like this. You can see the bill here. So you've got three treble hooks hanging down. That's a really cool little bait. I like that a lot. Uh, we'll take that to uh, hmm. we'll take that to the honey hole and uh, we'll, we'll probably smack them. Oh, I'm making a mess. Uh, we'll probably smack them at the honey hole on that. I like that bait a lot. That's going to be a lot of fun to throw. I'm going to see if I can't get this thing back in here the way I got it out because I like to stay neat and organized as best as I can. Except for that. Forgot about that one. All right. What else do we got? All right. So we're just going to go and get this one out of the way. This is one of my favorite baits. Um, well, all of you know, I am sponsored by X-Zone Lures. This is the X-Zone. We'll make a killer, killer jig trailer, uh, Ned rig for beds, uh, buzz bait. You know, dude, you can do, you can do stupid amounts of things with that. It is a phenomenal all-around bait. Next up, we've got a uh, we've got another Biwa. Um, this is a Japanese bait we have had on here before. This is called the Scorpion Tail. Check that out. Looks really good. I like it a lot. Uh, looks like a gorgeous little drop shot bait. Mm, I think that's supposed to maybe have a little bit of, supposed to have maybe a little bit of garlic. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. This isn't Japanese, apparently. This is French, but it has Japanese writing on it. 
I, I don't I don't have a clue. Um, anyway, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Nothing important on there. Uh, just a, look at that. Look good looking little bait. It does have a ridge in it that you could belly uh, belly hook that, and then a spot on the top as well. Me personally, I'm I'm nose hooking that thing, and I'm going to throw that. Um, I'm gonna throw that on a drop shot just because that looks like um, a drop shot bait. Kind of mimics. Um, it's a little thicker than like say uh, Berkeley flatworm. A little bit different. A little thicker. All right. Up next, we have. Cream King of Baits, the creator of the original plastic worm. Okay, check them out there. This looks like a lizard. It is. This is a Pro Series six inch spoil. Is that spoiler or spoiler? Spoiler lizard. The writing was running together there. In my all time favorite color, June Bug Red. Ooh, that looks good. We were actually just talking the other day. Uh, I, I absolutely hate throwing a Carolina rig. I think you all know that. Uh, but a buddy of mine that I was out with said uh, if I really want to smack them during the summer, I need to throw a Carolina rig more with a lizard on it. So I guess that's what we're going to do. We got some lizards there. We'll throw them on there. And these are actually really good for um, like spawn baits when they're on the beds uh lizards are apparently a big deal to spawning bass and their eggs so that's a really good really good thing to have in the box this month like i said i thought it would be oriented to spawning bass <laughs> i saw these i heard about these the carl's beard contest doesn't look much different does it Post your best impersonation of Carl by taking a selfie with his beard and sharing it with the world. We will pick our favorite impersonations and reshare re them on the Mystery Tackle Box Instagram or Twitter. How to enter, take a selfie of you with this beard and post it to Instagram or Twitter with the following hashtags. That is kind of cool. Like I said, it really doesn't look much different from what I already look like. We got our prices for this month's box. The Lunker Hunt Easy Prey came in at $10. The I'm a Suspending Vibration, $10. 10,000 Fish Cycle Bait, $7. Exxon Lures Adrenaline Crawl, $6. The Biwa Scorp Tail, $6. And the Crame Lures Pro Series Spoiler Lizard, $2. So really great value yet again. And what else do we got here? We've actually got the 10,000 Fish Cycle Bait Underspin. We've got a few features about it. And it also has its recommended trailers on there. That is the 10,000 fish Yodo worm. A really, really cool bait that I also do have. Uh, really like to throw it a lot on the back of like vibrating jigs and stuff like that. And then we've got the Dibble. The Dibble is actually going to give you all kinds of different uh, techniques and just stuff to be using this time of year and just kind of giving you insight into what all is going on in the world of fishing and kind of help you get to a little bit and guys this isn't just bass you've got you, the first page is bass then you've got more a little bit more bass then you go to universal fishing tips and you go to pan fish and trout while you got two pages of walleye uh the bass mobile is spotlighted in here they actually came to tennessee not long ago and then you've also got some inshore salt water you got a couple pages of that and then you've got your conser uh, conservation page as well and you've got your spot for a couple of different odds and ends to be able to purchase and then on the back of you got carl's corners a bunch of different words that you can try to unscramble just a little bit of fun stuff on there to keep the kids busy while you get to play with your new baits guys if y'all like these videos give me a huge favor hit that like button hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down in the comment section below let me know where you're watching from guys i know it's been a little bit kind of sporadic and crazy and i don't know if y'all can tell i'm kind of rushing my editing a little bit i got behind there for a while but we are we're trying to get back up and back ahead of our schedule and we're going to be going out we're still going to continue uh every friday is gonna we're gonna try to have every friday fishing unless it's like a friday before a tournament and if i don't have a different lake then i'll probably do something a little bit different in there just to make sure that none of my spots get spoiled again like the first white pine tournament of the year did so anyway like comment subscribe notifications on take care everybody